Okay, looking at this little thermoelectric water cooler, okay, it's simply just using a uh, semiconductor that if I put power, DC power into it, uh, one side will get hot and one side will get cool. And if you look at this thing close, you can see there's a little heat sink down in there. And that's to transfer heat from inside the container. There's a little tiny, well not tiny, but about a quart container back there. Uh, that this is placed on the side of. So there's a heat exchanger inside the tank and a heat exchanger outside. Between the two, there's a little semiconductor. Actually, I think there's two of them in there. And so if I put DC power in there, one gets hot and one gets cold. If I reverse the leads, it works the opposite. I could actually heat the water inside. And of course, a little fan down here, and it's cooling off this heat exchanger. So if I can do heating, or if I can do, well, if I can do heating and air conditioning with a semiconductor, why don't I? Why, why don't you see these things all over the place? Why aren't they used everywhere? Well, there's one good solid reason. Energy efficiency. A cooler like this, or any type of cooler that was trying to uh, cool water down to about 40 degrees would have an efficiency with compressor refrigeration using you know compressor condenser evaporator traditional refrigeration it would have a BTU efficiency of 300 to 400 percent now what I mean by that is if I put power into it if I start my compressor and my fans, the actual amount of heat that I'll move will be three to four times what the power would equal coming in if I just turn the power into heat. Okay, that's a pretty high efficiency, thermal efficiency. These, on the other hand, are well below one BTU per BTU of energy put in. So when I put power into this thing, I will get power or I will get cooling or heating out of it, but the efficiency is so much lower. Let's kind of make a guessment. Okay, let's say I put a hundred BTUs of power into this arrangement here and into that uh, semiconductor. I would not get 100 BTUs out. I would get more like 5 if I'm lucky. So with such efficiencies the only real value to these things is very tiny little water coolers like this. You know this is your water cooler that you would see uh, in an office or home and uh, uh, it's too small to actually put a compressor in in a con conventional refrigeration system. So they can be used for these little tiny things like this, but they are not, uh, they're not energy efficient enough to use for anything larger. And that is thermal electric refrigeration.